We start by putting our hands together and shift your weight to one leg. Then you make circles with your right ankle and after eight times you turn it around to the other side. You do the same on the other leg. Your wrists are just turning around each other. Make it as loose and relaxed as possible. The next one. We're gonna warm up the neck. Just imagine like you're agreeing with somebody. Eight times up and down. And then you disagree with somebody. Eight times to the left and to the right. And after that you will be confused. So you will put your ear to your shoulder. Keep your shoulders low and relaxed. After this we're gonna make circles with the neck. But be careful. Don't drop your head to the back like this. Keep it a little straight. In the front you can drop your head totally with your chin to your chest. We do this 8 times to the right and 8 times to the left. We are done with the neck part, now we're gonna move on to the shoulders. Start by making big rotations to the front. Imagine you are lifting a small pencil in between your shoulder blades. This will make the movement as big as possible. And then after 8 times switch to the back side. Also imagine the pencil here in between your shoulder blades. But then you are putting it down. After the pencil is dropped we are gonna put the hands in front of the chest and expand your upper body to the sides. So the direction of your elbows. Don't put your elbows to the back too much. Just really keep them to the sides. In the next movement we are gonna open the arms and the hands. This is too far. You should be able to see your fingertips when you move them. Don't go further than that. We do these movements 4 times small and 4 times big. And then again 4 times small and 4 times big. Now we're gonna twist our spine. Make sure that your knee is not locked. Bend it a little bit. And you can sink when you turn a bit in the growing. Switch from one side to the other eight times. Next up is a classic one. Put your hands on the sides and imagine the top of your head is stuck in space. And make sure the soles of the foot stay flat on the ground. And then just make big circles. 8 times to the right and 8 times to the left. Now we're gonna add some breathing and some stretching. Put your feet together and also your hands and stretch out, breathing in and follow your hands close to your body down. Keep your legs straight all the time. Breathe out when you're down and breathe in when you come up. When you've done this one four times, stay low. You can place your hands on the knees if you want. Try to keep your belly as close as possible to your thighs. And then bend the knees when going down and belly to the thighs when you stretch out. For the next one it's very important to keep the whole sole of the foot on the ground. If your heel comes up when you go down, you shouldn't go further than that. It's no problem. Keep your knees close together. This move also 8 times to the right and then 8 times to the left. 
Make sure your torso is higher than your hips. This will give the head some space. In the coming movements you don't have to keep your feet flat on the ground. You can roll a bit on the sides. When you go down, put your knees in front, then open them up to the sides and roll to the back. These circling movements can cause your knees and ankles to make some sounds. It's a bit like a popping sound. There's nothing wrong as long as it doesn't hurt. So don't be scared. After 8 times circling out and in, we put our feet a little bit wider than shoulder width. And then we do the same movements again. Put your knees on the inside, go front and circle back, stretch your knees. And the other way around, knees to the front from the side, then inside put them back and so on. Also 8 times. After this one the warm up is done and we shake it off a bit. Just shift your weight from leg to leg and breathe out while shaking off your hands and the leg which has no weight on it. Good, we're done. I didn't make up any of the movements, they all existed already. I just put them in an the order which I think is nice. Uh, what it does is it will improve your blood flow it, and it will loosen up your joints and muscles and also it will get your attention into your body. In the end of this video I will show you the whole routine like we just did but then without any interruption. I would like to advise you to never do these movements on an automatic pilot. Just act as if you are doing them for the first time always. Then you will have the right attention to your body. When you know these movements by heart, try to do them on a daily basis, for only then the benefits will be the best. Thank you for watching and I hope this routine will be a big help for you.